everybody it's artist king as usual back with another video for you guys um today i haven't used this thing i think you call it a gel print i am not sure <laughs> if that's what you call it but I, I forgot about i had those i have so many different things and sometimes i do forget so i decided to try and use it today but i don't know maybe i wasn't putting enough ink why it looks so dull i'm not sure but hey i tried so anyway today i you know i do i usually use magazine images i try to put something else at the beginning to make a little background make it look nice but usually i tear up paper tear up magazines cut up magazines and it's so much fun so um this one today again i just encourage somebody that's listening to me to pick up some magazines tear them up do get some glue get some paper and try to do collage i i guarantee you guys it's, you're gonna be addicted it's it's really fun so anyway on another note i wanted to talk a little bit today about rejection so many people you know like my job you, you guys know my job is like a counselor type job i do some other stuff but mainly i'm a counselor and um you know, talking to people, sometimes you hear so many horror stories as well as I do hear good stories from time to time, but mostly a lot of awful stories. And a lot of the things I see is people are affected by rejection, whether it be from the parents. You know, I had an individual tell me today, my dad disappeared when I was five. He left to, to get me snacks and never came back. And I was like, man, I thought that was only in the movies you saw that. I mean, I didn't say that, but I was thinking that. You know, and so many people feel rejected. They go to school, they rejected because they don't have the cool clothes, or they rejected because on social they don't look like the girls on social media. And social media, you know, has done a number on people as far as getting them as far as them feeling rejected because they reject their bodies, you know, and I feel like everybody's body is special because God made it, gave it to you specifically for you. So whether you little got, you got a little poochy tummy or you got a flat behind or too many boobs or too little boobs, whatever it is, you have to learn to love yourself and stop comparing yourself to others. You know, it, 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 because that's when you end up rejecting yourself. That's when you end up feeling rejected when you really should not. Um, you know, if, if we just all embrace ourselves and love ourselves just as we are, this whole feeling of rejection and, and not fitting in and, and, you know, and you feel the need to berate somebody else because they, they you feel that they less than, or, or they don't look like you, or they're not pretty like you, or they don't have clothes like you. So you bully people and you make them feel bad about themselves just so you could feel good. You know, and so many people take these things on. But I, I want to say today to those who've been rejected, who wasn't in the cool club at school, who wasn't with the, all the nice looking guys that all the girls wanted to date, or even now who, you know, you see all your friends around you getting married, getting spouses and partners, and you just there and you feel rejected. You feel all alone. One of the things I've learned is that your rejection is sometimes for your protection. Is a lot of times it's because that was meant for you. You weren't meant to be with the cool girls or the cool guys as much as you think, you know, my life would have been better if I was. But sometimes you look back and you see, if I'd have been a part of such and such, if they had included me and not rejected me, I wouldn't have been where I am today. I wouldn't have had achieved the things I had today because sometimes rejection and stuff, it makes you work harder. It makes you put more effort into what you're doing. And it makes you, in some ways, it, it, it makes you stronger, but you don't see it at the time because you're determined to not let this this feeling stay for some people you know some people just kind of get it really affects them in a bad way you know it ends up in suicide and things like that but there are some people who fight and they say i'm not not because they rejected me means i'm this or i'm that so i want to say to that person today who took their rejection and turned it around and made it something for their good hats off to you and, but for the person who's still struggling, because you might have been rejected by your family or your parents, and I think that's one of the hardest rejections to deal with when it's your relatives, when it's your parents, your mom or your dad. 
I want to say to you that there is a plan for you. That something else, some, there's something else awesome out there for you. You just have to keep looking. You just have to keep seeking until you find it. And I guarantee you guys, those of you that are struggling in this area, there is something out there so awesome for you. But you can't let this whole feeling of rejection overcome you that you don't fight, that you don't seek, that you don't try. So, hope that encourages somebody. And like I always say, what I say on here is my opinion. You may agree, you may disagree, but I just thought, you know, sharing it with people because I believe somewhere out there, somebody's hearing this and it's going to help make a difference in their lives. Okay? So you guys, that's pretty much what I have for you today. So as you can see, my um, collage has, has come together. I, I found these images of these guys. I think that they like watching... I don't know, it's some kind of video game that you can see images when you put that thing over your eyes. And they did it like in a fashion magazine, I found that. So I thought it was interesting, and then I found some cups of, I don't know, that was tea or I don't know what it was. Something with ice, a drink with ice. And I just thought, well, why not put their feet down in there and kind of zhuzh it up a little bit and make it into a collage. And as it says on there, try it. Try doing collage art. Try some type of art. Try being creative in some way. And I guarantee you guys, you will be surprised when you see how things turn out. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad you stayed with me. I hope you listened to what I said. I'm, I'm glad you watched the video as well. So, you know, I, I post every Tuesday, every Saturday. There's over 200 videos on this channel. You can always go back. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That's always a good thing. It helps more people like you to be able to see my videos. Okay? If you if you have something that you want to say, you know, it's always good to leave a comment. I read all the comments and I respond to all the comments. And then if you like the, as I always say, if you like the overall content of this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss out and the notification. So you don't miss out on anything. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, bye now.